Hey guys, a -Bit Squid here, and welcome to this Unity and Playmaker tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to control two characters separately. So, using a keyboard, we're going to be using the AS, uh, A, D, W, S, or whatever order you say it in, keys to control the left player. The guy on the left. Sorry. Uh, mirror image. And then... Uh, the character on the right will be controlled by the arrow keys. So if you see at the moment, if I use my arrow keys here, they move together at the same time, identical. So we just need to do a couple of things. So it's actually quite simple to do. So first of all, we're going to go to our project settings. And you'll see here we have horizontal and vertical. Normal, yours here will have... Uh, a and D here for horizontal and vertical mine and like S and W there. So what we're going to do is where it says Alt negative button A and positive Alt positive D, we delete them. And then same with vertical, we're going to get rid of the S and the W. And then we're going to go down to the second set here, horizontal and vertical. And we're going to put the positive or the negative button as A and then the positive button as D. And when it says gravity, we're going to set that to 3. Dead zone, we want to be 0.001. And then sensitivity, 3. And we're going to change where it says type from joystick axis to keyboard and or mouse button. And we're going to also ch excuse me, uh, change the name. So from horizontal, I'm going to call this one Hori. Okay. And then I'm going to do the same with vertical. First, I'll change the name to vert. Negative is going to be S, positive W, because positive would mean going up or right, depending on the axis. And negative, if it's on the x-axis, negative is left and positive is right and same here gravity 3 dead zone of 0.001 and then sensitivity as 3 and again we'll change it to keyboard or mouse button and that's all we need to do in that one let's just double check that they are gone from here yep and really the, the dead zone and gravity this is something you will change when you're using a controller for example like if I leave it that as a default setting on my on this controller, it's fine. There's no drift. But if I use my Xbox Series S uh, controller, for some reason, dead zone, if I don't set it to like 0.19, uh, it drifts for some reason. I don't get why. But when you build a game and use the controller, it doesn't drift. So it's a thing in Unity for some reason. Okay, so... Player one is I'm going to be controlling with the A, D, W, S keys. So I'm going to just change where it says horizontal to hori and vertical to just be vert. And then I need to create a new store, a new global variable, because we need separate ones for this. So I'm going to do a new global variable and call it player 2x. And we'll choose that on here. Player 2x. And then here, uh, a new global variable, player to y. Now, if you're watching this tutorial and you're not sure how I've done the movement, um, there's loads of other people who've done tutorials on it. It'll probably be identical. But uh, just in case, there'll be a card in the top. <clears throat> and then once I've done that, I'm going to set the player y to player to y. <clears throat> And then in my translate here, I need to do the same. Player X will be player 2X and Y player 2Y. And then uh, technically, I think player 1, he's fine being left as it is. But uh, because my characters are animated, I need to do a change in my animation. So I need to change here. So if you don't know how to do the animation control, there is a tutorial. Uh, I'm not sure if it's the best way of doing it. I'm sure there's better ways, but this is how I do it, and it gives me a lot of control about how I do with what 
with the character. Do what with the character, sorry. So player X, player 2X on that one. And then on here, player 2Y on that one. And now, hopefully, if there's no issues, I should be able to control them separately. So you can see he's moving, and there we go. Using the A and D, A and D keys to move left and right. And then the A, uh, uh, somehow that has got swapped. I must have done that wrong there, but let me check, double check in there. Project settings, uh, vertical. Negative is S, positive is W. So is it inverted on my controller, maybe? Let's see. Strange that that's happening. It shouldn't, because <laughs> thing, but never mind. If you do have the problem, for some reason, uh, it's picking up my positive as negative ah that's why invert that's why just make sure you untick the box there and uh, double check this one yeah that is why so make sure that your invert um box isn't ticked maybe i did that by accident i can untick invert here and then w is up s is down and now i can control them separately and that is it. That is how to create uh, two separate controllable characters. Uh, if you want to know how to do the split screen, there is a video in the top along with movement and animation control. If this video was helpful, please hit that like button and also subscribe. I'm getting very close to 100 subscribers. It'd be great to be able to hit that quite soon. And yeah, so again, thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe. And until next time, 8-Bit Squid out.